what's up guys this is JJ Vikram here bringing you a hundred and six to eight on plaza domination and I'm doing a dual com again with somebody that you're kind of familiar with His name is JMK 600 so how are you doing doing pretty fine we're talking to you Krim it sounds pretty good okay so my class set up today before I start the commentary is PDW with Silencer, Bazmag, Gold Camel, of course, they're working on that diamond. And Heartline and Ghost, Perk 1 Greed, Scavenger and Toughness with Perk 2 Greed and Dexterity. And what we're going to talk about first is um, the PDW. The PDW is my favorite gun in this game. No, it's my favorite SMG in this game. The A94 is my favorite gun all around. But the PDW on small range maps like Meltdown and Plaza, the PDW just goes in. If you can get in the right um, gun situations, you can easily get high kills. You just play smart. Yeah, like it's one of my favorite SMGs and one of my favorite guns in the game. It's so consistent and it's so good in close quarters. And, uh, yet, yeah. my top favorite is MSMC but that's just my personal opinion and as you can see the kill feed just went ham right there I don't know if you saw it but like my dogs had a 10 kill feed in themselves my dogs just spawn raping them kids but um the vector is the best SMG the vector is the best SMG but the PDW is my most favorite the, the vector kills almost instantly the recoil is like the ACR from MW3 and it's just so so beast I have to disagree with you there the vector is very good but the recoil at long range it is kinda high but do you have silencer? yeah <laughs> oh the silencer well. and fast mags anyway um the recoil at long distance yeah it's pretty high but at short range it's not very high at all it's like little to none and it's pretty and um tips on how to play plaza is you have to flank from dubstep room if, if you have a smg you cannot i mean you cannot flank on the right side of the map with a you dumb shotgun corner camper okay you cannot flank on the side of the map with the buildings that overlook the little garden area because nine times out of ten there will be a sniper camping up there waiting for you to come around that corner so he can get his one shot kill so he can get a trophy for it I guess and you have to flank in dubstep and try to flank around and as soon as you get an enemy spawn you have to climb the ladders as soon as you get up the ladders and take control over there when, they, when you're in that spawn you can easily get high kills oh man I, I don't even know how many times I've been killed by a sniper sitting up there. Also, with KSGs, they're just sitting up there holding down the freaking left trigger. KSGs? Yeah, dude. I'm trying to get on B, playing that team player. Trying to get on B, capping that flag, and all of a sudden I'm just instantly dead. No hit marker. I look at the kill cam, KSG. Yes, and also. Before the game is over, I want to talk about how to play against good players. As you can see, um, at the beginning of this round, our team was losing pretty bad. No, not not pretty bad, but like 10 points. But um, the game before this, the guy on the other team, he had three blackberries in one game. He went like 40 and two or something like that. So when the game started loading, I saw he's on the other team. So it's like I have to play a little smarter this game because there's a good player on the other team. So I tried to play smarter and by the minute I say a minute into the second round he backed out. As you can see I died right here. He double flash banged me, then he grenaded me, and then I died, went off a swarm, okay. I hate stuff like that. Yeah. That's why I don't even feel like putting on flat jacket attack mask because it happens like I would say once every 15 lives that happens to me. I don't see the point of wasting a perk. I think Hardline and Ghost way more beneficial than Flak Jacket would be. Because I use Hardline and Ghost. I mean, 
I feel the effects of hardlining goes all the time. I can't. I don't feel the effects of flight jacket all the time. Yeah, when you play against good players, you can't just rush up in the spawn or just rush up. Period. You have to sit back. Not really sit back. You have to play smart and not just act stupid, and you'll get your kill streaks. Yes, and um, I was playing against Zozo Jojo and like six of his friends. They were in like a party of six, and I got Blackbird Dog and Swarm on him in the like first two minutes. And I was, I was kind of playing passively, but I was in there spawning the whole time. And the dude, Papa Neck, sent me a message as soon as the game was over, saying how I camped and spawned the whole time. And I wasn't really camping, I was playing passively. And JMK, so do you have any final words? Yeah, Krim was being a real team player. And thanks for letting me do this dual com with you. You're welcome. And this is all the gameplay I have now, so... Peace out.